This is a financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, AMC is being attacked by the naked shorters. There's no other explanation for this dramatic price drop. If you look at what's going on in the market, do you guys think that AMC retail investors are selling their shares? Do you think that institutions that are really long on AMC are selling their shares? Nobody's selling their shares. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm telling you that you're not going to be down 96% in the play and decide to sell now, okay, to save 4%. That's not logical. People are not doing that. This is the bad actors doubling and tripling down on, on the, the criminality because the market is red, because they're getting desperate, because as the market crashes, they're probably being margin called and forced liquidations are probably coming. Anyway, here, here are the numbers for AMC. Uh, 13,189,547. You know, those numbers mean absolutely nothing because we have no idea what they're doing in the dog pool. We have no idea what they're doing on the other exchanges that they use to manipulate the price of the stock. And yes, the DOJ, the FBI, and the SEC knows exactly what these bad actors are doing, but they do absolutely nothing. We have calls in the money, 11,096, and it's $6, 52,140, rather, 140. Um, they mean absolutely nothing. There will be no gamma squeeze because they can just keep creating counterfeit AMC shares or lending the same shares over and over and over again. And nobody seems to care. And you know why they don't care? Because the people losing money are retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. I've never seen this level of fraud and corruption be accepted anywhere in the United States of America. And I've been shocked, shocked over the last three years what has been allowed to go on in my country. Okay, shocked. Um... They're claiming 35.2% of the volume was shorted shares. So somehow they found 5 million AMC shares to short into the market and manipulate the price of AMC. Now, should the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI question the source of these shares? Of course they should. I mean, we've been screaming about the counterfeit shares for three years. But every day they find millions of shares to put it, to, to put into the market, to push the price down, and the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI won't even ask them where did these shares come from. They won't even ask for the source of the shares. Where did they originate? The chain of custody. You know why? Because they already know what's going on. This is a public market. They can see all the trades. They know what these guys are doing. I mean, it's not quantum physics. I mean, this is simple, basic mathematics. If a, if a flow's a million and, and they move five million, obviously four million is, is illegal. But they don't care. They don't care at all. And, of course, they're claiming they can cover all their AMC short positions in 3.91 trading days, which is absolutely crazy. It's impossible. But that is the state of the United States stock market. It's run by criminals and protected by people who seem to me, in my opinion, conspiring with the criminals. I mean, that that is my opinion based on everything I've seen over the last three years. And um, they're claiming the short interest was 14.65%. That's impossible also. There's too many counterfeit shares. The short interest is probably 100 times that. It's absolutely crazy what they're allowed to do in the United States stock market. But hopefully... With the market crashing, their liquidity is running out, margin calls are coming, and they, they will be forced liquidation, they'll be forced to sell their AMC short positions. Anyway, please leave some comments, tell me what you think. Do you think that AMC crashing like this is because retail investors decided to sell their shares within 96% down? 
Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.